Oh wow, that is nostalgic. <laughs> uh, and there went the blood sea. Hello everybody and welcome to Sonic.exe, which is a horror game that's based off the creepypasta with the same name. Now, for those who don't know what Sonic.exe is, Sonic.exe is a creepypasta that came out in, I believe, 2010, 2011. So it is a very old creepypasta, but it is regarded as one of the classics. Now, the premise of the story goes is that a guy receives a ROM hacked version of the original 1991 Sonic the Hedgehog game. Now, this ROM hack contained things like blood, gut, score, so on and so on. So, I did go back and reread a little bit of the story, and granted, it did not age well. I mean, there's just so many misspellings and cliches, but I will leave a link to the original story down below if anybody's curious if they want to read it. So, I'm curious on how well they did it, but with that being said, let's jump straight into it, I guess. Also, fun fact, it'll act one. The Sonic the Hedgehog, like the Sonic.exe laugh, is actually a distorted sound bite from, I believe, Kefka from Final Fantasy VI. It's just Kefka's laugh, just very distorted. And there's the mutilated animals. <laughs> right off the bat, yeah. Pile of them right there, too. Ah, oh, there he is. No, I do not. Hide and seek. Wow. <laughs> uh, so far, it's surprisingly faithful. Yeah, the hellish background in the original story, so yeah. Looks like how Tails is pointing in that direction. Oh boy, here he comes. Can I jump over him? Nope. Poor Tails. <laughs> got his eyes ripped out. Oh. Now I gotta play as Knuckles. <laughs> you can't run. Ooh. Okay, I actually... Where did I remember this theme from? Oh, it's... I'm positive this is Guy Guess's theme from Earthbound. Actually, now that I look at it... Yes, you have. Yeah, now that I look at it, I think the background is just... Guy Guess. Just severely distorted. I'm gonna get you. You will die at my hands. So many souls to play with. So little time. Would you agree? 
I would like for you to stop making the Kefco laugh, because that's actually starting to get annoying. Alright, next up, Dr. Eggman. Period, period, period. Okay. Dr. R? Nah, it's supposed to be Dr. Eggman. He didn't change his name to Dr. Robotnik until I believe S Sonic Heroes back in like 2005. That's a bit of a screw up. So he should be, he should still be called Eggman, just saying. There he is. Let me guess, he's gonna say I am God. By the way, that is not supposed to be the uh, picture at the end. <laughs> yep, there it is. Yeah, I thought the picture was like supposed to be different. Ready for round two. Wait, hold on. No, fuck no. I have to edit that. Game over. For those who don't know what just happened. It had my actual fucking name on the right side of the screen. That tripped me, actually. That ending actually tripped me. Fuck no. <laughs> Oh, I got it. Yeah, I have to edit that out. Is there anything else? No? Okay. Alright, guys. So that was Sonic.exe. Honestly, that fucking ending tripped me. I was not expecting to see... It actually showed my real-life name at the end. I was not expecting... That's fucking... Oh... I love it when games do that, though, or they when they fuck with your PC a bit, kind of like break the fourth wall in a way. I love it when horror games do that because it kind of fucks, you know, it fucks you up a little bit. Yeah, you know, but as for the game itself, it is I kind of actually like it. I mean, it, it is faithful to the original story, so I can't really complain that much about it. So, but if you guys enjoyed the video, like and subscribe as always. And until next time, have a good day.